guys welcome back to my youtube channel again so today i'm going to share with you my adjustment of status timeline or my green card timeline so finally after a long wait i got my green card so in this video i'm going to share with you my aos or green card timeline so without any further ado let's get started so i know there's a lot of you are still waiting for their approval and some it takes so long and some it just they just approve with uh within the month so uh it depends on case to case basis siguro so ayan uh but for me it took so long before i got my green card so uh, now, uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna share with you my uh, adjustment of status or green card timeline. So, uh, here on September 15, uh, 2021, so I got here through K1 visa and uh, we got married. Uh, so, I got married on October, October 7th, 2021. So, yes, guys. I know it's already 2023 and I got here uh, on 2021 but I just now got my green card. As what I told you earlier, depende siguro sa um, case and then it depends siguro sa naghawak ng uh, mga papers ninyo. So ayun, um, on my case, uh, it took so long and I got... Uh, RFE twice so in this video I'm going to share with you what are my RFEs and uh, all my timelines so uh, when I got I got here on September 15 uh, 2021 and we got married on Octo October 7th 2021 and we did not we did not file the adjustment of status right away uh, it is because um, lumipat kami uh, ng bahay so and then si Habi ay may work sa Florida at that time and we were uh, nandun siya for 4 months so yun that's the reason why that I did not uh, file my adjustment of status right away at hindi rin biro yung uh, filing fee for adjustment of status which is um, what is uh, 1,225 US dollar and let's see guys and then uh, while uh, I'm preparing on my papers, so ayun, we're, we're in Florida when I filed my um, papers or my, my adjustment of status. So, March 3, uh, 2022, uh, so March 3, 2022, uh, I filed my AOS, so including my employment authorization and my advance parole. So, uh, and that's free when you filed your uh, employment author authorization and applic uh, and advance parole with your adjustment of status so it's gonna be free but if you're gonna file it uh, separately uh, so you have to pay for that uh, there's a different fee for employment authorization and advance parole so that's uh, that's it guys I filed my adjustment of status uh, so that's it guys, I filed my adjustment of status uh, March 3, 2022 and uh, March, so March 3, 2022, I mailed it to uh, USCIS and then March uh, 7th, 2022, they got my application so that's, uh, I received, uh, I received the text that day that I that they got my application and then march 23 uh, 2020 2022 um they schedule my appointment for my biometric and then march 28 uh they send me the rfe that's my first rfe so uh, march 20 march 28 they send me the rfe and then did i do so uh they want me to submit all the pages for form i1485 which is for adjustment of status so i print that 18 pages so they told me that uh, i need to submit with uh edit with the uh, recent edition or something like that but what did i do when i submit is just the same form but i don't know why it is they said that it that's uh it's not in latest edition something like that so ayun uh, what did I do I just print it and then mailed it to them and 
March 9, March 29, uh, I send my response for my uh, RFE. RFE means it's like the request for additional evidence like that. And then uh, April 7th, 2022, uh, that's, mo that's my biometric day. So my, uh, my biometric, my biometric appointment, which is in Nashville, Tennessee. And then March 8, and then, I'm sorry guys. And then April 8th, 2022, uh, my case was updated that they already got uh the response for my rfe so i know it's uh for my for my rfe and then uh, after that i did not hear anything uh from my case and then april and then uh, september 1st uh 2022 uh September 1st, 2022, uh, my employment authorization and my advanced parole uh, was approved. So if you watch the video that I made my combo card timeline, so it's gonna be combo card since um, it's the magiging combo card na siya kasi uh, employment authorization in advance parole. So September 7th, uh, 2022, uh, my combo card was produced or card was produced. And then uh, September 11th, 2022, I got uh, my green, I got my uh, combo card on hand. And then October 6th, 2022, I got my SSN in my married name. In my I got my SSN in my married name. So, ayan, uh, it took so long. Uh, after they received the response for my RFE for my green card, so I did not hear anything. It still says right there that they received my papers. Um, and then, and then March 4th, 2023, uh, that's the first time that my case was updated again for my adjustment of status. So it shows that case was actively reviewed by uh, USCIS. And then March 21, 2023, uh, they sent me another RFE again. So that's my second RFE. So they sent me uh, another RFE. So uh, they asked the copy for our marriage certificate. March 29, uh, I respond for my RFE, which I mailed it back to them. Uh, I send it back to them which is the copy of our the copy of uh, our marriage certificate and then after that uh, March 28 um uh, they receive my response. Uh, they receive my response for my RFE and then March 29 uh, after 14 months. So ayan after 14 months uh, finally my case was approved. So ayan guys after 14 months finally my case was approved. So that's for my uh, adjustment of status. And then after that uh, June 3rd 2023 um, so after that uh, June 3rd 2023 my card was produced and then uh, June uh, 5th uh, card was picked up by USPS and then here I am I got it so finally I got my green card so this is two years uh, green card and it's gonna be expired on 2025th so I am guys uh, after long wait finally uh, uh, finally I got my green card on hand so I know there's a lot of you are still waiting for the approval but uh, keep praying and I hope that you will get approved soon. I know that feeling that every day, you know, uh, especially on me, it took like 14 months for me to get approved. Like every day, you're gonna check your status. There's still hope right there that uh, you will see that. There's still hope right there that you will see it's approved. But sometimes it's just still same. There's no update like that. But there's always a perfect timing for the everything, and always trust God and always trust His plan. So ayan, um, and always trust His plan because and always trust uh, the God's plan because it's always perfect. So ayan, guys. Uh, finally, I already got it, and that's my timeline. And I just want to share with you, I think that that seven is my lucky number because um we got married on the seventh uscis uh got my paper on 
uh, March 7, 2022 and they scheduled my biometric on uh, April 7, 2022 and uh, my combo card was uh, produced or card was produced on my combo card on September 7, 2022 uh, and and then now I got my green card and it's June 7th, 2023. So ayan guys, um, so 2023. So ayan, I do, I do hope that you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below so that you will be notified on my next upcoming videos. To those who are still waiting for the approval, I hope and I pray that you will get, that you will get approved soon too. And to those who are still preparing their papers, make sure that you double check everything so that you avoid RFEs. So ayan guys, uh, para I was RFE and to those who got RFE just uh, provide what they ask uh, from you and then soon you will get approved too so that's it for today thank you for watching and see you on next one bye